Hey guys, what's going on? CBD Fishing here, and today I want to show you guys how I do my punch rig. Alright, so first up, this is a um, Vendetta Heavy Rod uh, with a Bass Pro Shop 7 to 1 gear ratio reel. 65 pound braid, just like when I'm frog fishing, just like when I'm jigging. And uh, on this, flipping. This is 65 pound braid, and as you can see right here, I have a punch stop. My paycheck base is on here. And I follow that up immediately with River to Sea Trash Bomb. All right, this is a one ounce weight, dull paint job, very good paint job. And it has, if you can see there, a little plastic protector. All right, that protects my line. It runs the entire length of the weight. And I simply slide my line through there. Go to the end, and voila. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Paycheck Baits punch skirt. This one's in a, uh, a green, brownish, pumpkin, watermelon color with blue flake. Uh, I really like this for deep. Don't think of punching as something you only do in the shallow. You can do this in deep water as well, so I'm really gonna get into this technique. But this has a plastic bead inside it, and again, I've talked about the reason why I use a plastic bead in my swim jig video. I know it protects my line. Compared to some of those ones with tin metal and I'm just gonna slide that the whole way down all right now this is in a sense a Texas rig but the difference is in the knot and I'm fixing to show you this knot I'm gonna slide this all the way down a lot further give myself a lot of line and slam my rod on the floor all right and I'm gonna grab a flipping hook okay this is either a two out or three out I'm not quite sure holding it here I have all of my flipping hooks together but I'm not real concerned about it because a 2 aught and a 3 aught and a 4 aught I use on uh, my setups and the hook really doesn't matter so much to me because of the purpose of what it does. So I'm going to run my uh, line through the front of this hook like so. Okay, I'm going from this direction in there. So I go through the eye and then I'm going to simply come over here and make a huge loop. All right, Just make a loop. I can show you that. Just got a loop sitting here. Now I'm gonna just take my finger and I'm gonna hold this loop at this end, let this slack sit here, and I'm just gonna wrap this line that's left, this slack, around about six times. Alright? I'm gonna try to do this tight. It doesn't have to be that tight to make this knot. But this is what's called a snail knot. And the good thing about a snail knot is that it basically bites back when the fish hit this bait. And you're gonna see what I mean by that. All right, so go across five times. I think five's gonna do it. Now what I'm gonna do is this slack in my line, this loop I have sitting over here, all right, if you guys can see this, is I'm gonna grab the loose line that's hanging down, pull it through my bait. I'm gonna hold the loose line against my hook and now I'm gonna leave the loop there, and now I'm gonna take the actual line going back to my rod, and I'm just gonna pull it. All right, once I've done that, I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna grab my finger, put it through the loop of the hook, and pull as tight as I can on that braid without cutting my fingers open. All right, so be careful, braid and cut through your fingers really easily. All right, and it should, that feels about right. Now, I have some extra slack here. I'm gonna take a knife. I'm just going to simply run that knife over that braid at a reasonable spot. Alright, so I have a little bit hanging. No big deal for me. I'm not really going to worry about it. I'll wrap that around the hook a couple times. That's just slack. Okay. Okay, so I've got this set up. Bring my rod back here. Now I'm going to take this from the punch stop all the way back down to this hook. I want to show you guys this setup, okay? When you do this, this hook should be hanging out when you apply pressure, okay? I'm going to swing it down a little bit. All right, so you'll see here, this is why a snail knot is important. All right, when you set the hook, 
it swings the hook out, punching it right back into the bait. Now, to make this something you're going to want to use, you're going to want to make it weedless, okay? So to make it weedless, I'm going to take a Missile Baits D-Bomb. This is in Watermelon Flake, Red Flake. And I'm going to come through at an angle. Alright. And I'm going to go all the way through this bait. Alright. Stopping. Barely at the end. Turn the bait. And I'm just going to pull the ribs up just a little bit. And I'm going to slide this bait through the underbelly of these ribs. Kind of just pull down on it. All right, now let me show you what that looks like. It's a very big profile bait. As you can see here, this is my punch rig. And again, when you apply pressure, that hook is just going to come swinging out and nail that fish. Now, this is what I want you to do with this. You can fish this just like you'd fish a jig. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to throw this not directly into the mat, but about four feet above a mat. And what that'll do is when it comes busting through the mat, it's one ounce, it's heavy, it's dense, the skirt will open up, it'll make a little hole. Once it, it busts through that mat, you're going to want to simply take your rod tip, shake it, let it sit, bump it up, bump it up again, drag it just a hair. And if you do not get a strike, you're going to take that 7 to 1 gear ratio, you're going to reel it right back in, you're going to throw it right back out and into the mats. And what you're trying to do is get fish hiding in the shade, waiting to ambush some kind of prey. All right, this is a really good crawfish imitation. This is also a really cool way of making a jig weedless, the punch setup. All right, guys, CBD fishing, keep tight lines, go out there, get yourself a punch rig, bust open some mats, hit some pads with it, catch some fish.